it's Angel. Today I went to Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle's beautiful waterfront. I thought it would be nice to make fish for dinner tonight and maybe find some other ingredients to cook with along the way. This is my third video in a three-part series of Asian-inspired recipes using fresh ingredients from Pike Place Market. Enjoy! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make classic honey walnut shrimp. Now, the sauce for honey walnut shrimp is typically made with mayonnaise, and I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not a huge fan of store-bought mayo. For some reason, it just doesn't taste that appealing to me. So I've gone ahead to tweak this recipe and I've made my own homemade honey walnut shrimp sauce that I think tastes better and it's not as mayo-y if that's even a word. Anyways, it's not that hard to make and you might even have all the ingredients at home already. But what I do know is that honey walnut shrimp is a great recipe to cook if you're looking to whip up something special for dinner tonight. So with that, let's get started in cooking the walnuts. Here's what we'll need to cook the candied walnuts. First, we'll need half a cup of walnut halves. Make sure you splurge and get the halves and not just the smaller pieces. Half a cup of filtered water, a quarter cup of cane sugar, and finally, one tablespoon of your favorite honey. I'm using wildflower honey from Moon Valley Organics, which comes in this really cute glass bear jar. Now let's lightly toast the walnuts. Preheat a pan on low heat and dry roast the walnuts for two to three minutes. Toast just enough to bring out the flavor of the walnuts. When you're done, set them aside in a bowl. Next, Heat the water, sugar, and honey in a pan and bring to a boil. Let it cook and begin to thicken for about a minute or two. Once all the ingredients are dissolved, add your walnuts and continue to stir and mix until most of the water has evaporated and the mixture has caramelized the walnuts. Note that you may need to turn your heat on low so it doesn't begin to burn. Once the walnuts have caramelized, transfer them to a nonstick cookie sheet, or you can use a plate sprayed with some nonstick cooking oil. Keep in mind to separate the walnuts and space them out so they don't stick together as they cool. Now let's make our homemade honey walnut sauce. Start with one fresh egg and separate the yolk from the white into different bowls. Set the egg white aside and start with the yolk. Measure out half the yolk and put it into a mixing bowl along with half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Now take a few drops of the two tablespoons of oil we need for the recipe and whisk together the mixture. The reason why we only want to add a few drops of oil at a time is because we need it to emulsify so we can get a nice, fluffy, thick sauce. Once a small batch is thickened, continue adding a little bit of oil at a time until you've incorporated the entire two tablespoons. Be patient with this step because if you don't, your sauce will break and be runny and watery, in which case you'll need to start over. If you do this right, it should be super thick in consistency. Congratulations, you just made your own homemade mayo. Then add the remaining ingredients. One teaspoon of lemon juice, a little bit of salt, half a teaspoon of honey, half a teaspoon of sweetened condensed milk, Finally, a quarter teaspoon of white vinegar. Whisk those ingredients together and you'll have made your own homemade honey walnut shrimp sauce. Next, let's prep the shrimp. I've got a dozen large shrimp, about three quarters of a pound, 
peeled, deveined, rinsed, and pat dry. In a clean bowl, mix your shrimp with the egg whites we set aside earlier. Then in another dish, coat each shrimp one by one in cornstarch, taking care to press the cornstarch into the shrimp and coat the shrimp evenly. Once you're done, now it's time to cook. I'm preparing my wok with some vegetable oil for deep frying. Once the oil has come to temperature, gently add in your shrimp in small batches. Each shrimp should take about one to two minutes to cook. Cook until golden brown, then remove and set aside to drain on paper towels. When you're done, they should look like this. Once the shrimp has cooled a bit, toss in a bowl with our homemade sauce. Feel free to add as much or as little sauce as you want, then transfer to a serving plate, mix in with our candied walnuts, and maybe top with some sesame seeds. So this is how you make classic honey walnut shrimp with a homemade sauce. It's super tasty with a bowl of hot rice. I wish you guys could try it here with me today. I hope you enjoyed my video series of Asian-inspired recipes using fresh ingredients from Pike Place Market. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen, because I'll be cooking up some more Asian and Taiwanese recipes very soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!